Let's talk about why I think it's important to give something back to the photography community. Hey, welcome to another video. If you've watched some of my other videos, you've heard me reference a few times my friend Tom who passed away a few years ago. I met Tom maybe 30 years ago now. I was taking a class in black and white photography in darkroom over at the local junior college. My photography teacher at the time said, hey, I know someone that could use some computer help. He's got his own dark room in his house. Maybe you could work out a trade of some sort because he needs computer help and you can get some more work in the dark room. And he's a good instructor. He used to be an instructor here. So I agreed and met Tom. And even though he's passed away now, I would, we've had plenty of these conversations when he was still with us. <laughs> so he would, he would agree. He was, a, he was a cranky old guy when we first met. And, uh, you know, I, I wasn't so sure we were going to get along at first. I'm a pretty easygoing, even keel guy, and he could, he could get in your face at the time. He was a retired veterinarian, and he had to quit because he got kicked in the back by a horse and, and just always had constant back problems. And he ended up retiring from that and got heavily into photography. And being his background was medicine, he went at it from a very scientific point of view. I have one mosquito that's just floating around here. And mosquitoes love me more than pigs love slop. So it's just, if I keep moving around the background, that's why I'm trying to get this mosquito. <laughs> the joys of shooting outside. Back to Tom. Yeah, I didn't really think we were going to get along. And, and the reason why I didn't think it was going to work out at first was because I was always going over there and helping him with his computer. And I never got to use his dark room. And he'd always say, don't worry about it. It's going to work out. Don't worry about it. It's going to work out. And you have to have faith. And all right, all right, all right. And he was right in the end. I'm sure I got far more out of it than he ever did from me replacing a hard drive or fixing his printer or showing him how to use Word for the... 35th time and we ended up becoming very good friends and without getting too personal in, into it I was actually there when he when he passed in the hospital and I ended up taking care of his estate and becoming his medical surrogate and he he uh, he probably trusted me as much as anybody on earth on when he ended up passing away. So we, we became quite good friends. And back when I had uh, my heart surgery and I was in the hospital, even though he was in a wheelchair and it was hard for him to get around, he got one of his daughters to come up to the hospital room and see me, even though it was really tough on him. He could have just picked up the phone and called, but no, he came to the hospital to see me. Through him, I met other people other photographers that I'm still friends with to this day. Even though Tom's passed, they were friends of his. Some of his friends have passed. Some of them are still around. And, and you know, I've made longtime friends from being friends with Tom. My long-winded point to this is that when you help others, I know the old saying is, well, you'll get back more than you gave out. That's true. I, I find that in, in everything that I've done. And I don't really talk about it on this channel, but for a long time, I did a lot of work in, in schools, mostly grade school, elementary school. But I did some work in the high schools and the middle schools where I would go in and do junior achievement and some other things. I coached, 
I don't know how many sports teams because of it, some of which my kids were on and some of them my kids weren't on. You know, I, I coached a high school team for a couple of years after my kids had already graduated. So it wasn't just, oh, well, you're just doing your kids. No, it wasn't true. I did several, several leagues where my kids weren't involved. So that's one of the reasons why I do this monthly video. I realize there's only three other photographers other than myself showing images on this, on these monthly videos so far. You're welcome to join. Just go and find my contact information under the About section on the YouTube, or go to my website, find my email address, and send me an email, and we'll work it out, you know, where you can get me one of your images, and I'd love to have you put one of your images up. It's not a critique. It's just to show one of your images. If you just want one of your videos shown here, and, you know, I know I'm a small channel. You're not going to get a ton of views. But hopefully it'll grow and, and we'll get more and more people will join in. That's the goal anyway. But it's really just, in a way, my way of trying to give back a little bit. If you see an image without a name on it, that's my image. And all these images were taken since the last time I produced one of these videos. Every one of them. Obviously, if you see a name on it, that's the person who took it. I wanted to make that point so it wasn't quite as confusing. If you notice as these images run across the screen, somebody named Cindy has two, where the other two guys have one. And usually I restrict it to one. But this month I allowed Cindy to have two. And I'll tell you why. Because Cindy got a new camera, maybe a month or so ago now, and before she bought it, she asked me for some advice on what cameras to look out for. And I gave her some advice on what to look for, what to not to look for, how much, you know, within her budget, what, what cameras to look for. Within a month of, ha of her having that camera, she picked up a photography job. <laughs> I mean, good for her, right? She's getting paid to go do a photography job within a month. And so I try to encourage people like that and help them out where I can. And that's why she gets two this month. And there's been other people that I've spoken back and forth with through this channel. And it's not just me helping them, they help me. And I think that that's very important. If, if you want photography to keep growing as an industry, you have to help not just adults, but young people to appreciate it. One of the reasons why I, why I have my camera around my grandkids a lot, because there's sometimes I don't even, I don't take a picture, but they see the camera, they know what it is, and maybe one day they'll want to learn more and take pictures themselves. Maybe not, but that's one of the reasons why I have it around so much, is they get so that they get used to seeing it. And maybe they'll want to take it up as a hobby. When I first started out in photography, I mentioned several times I had a Pentax K1000. And I don't remember, I, another photographer gave me an extra body. So I had two K, K1000s. And eventually I upgraded to an Nikon F5. One of my K1000s was stolen and the other one I gave it to a young lady who was in high school who went to school with one of my kids I forget which one now it was a long time ago but she was trying to start out in photography well I, I gave her the other camera body and from what I understand they moved away and I lost touch with them but from what I understand she ended up getting into that field into the arts and went to college for that type of thing. Like I said, they moved, I don't know what happened to them. But I'd like to think that if she's in that, if that was, ended up being her career path, I'd like to think I helped her out a little bit. Now I know a lot of you are probably sitting at the, screaming at the monitor or the TV, whatever you're looking at, phone, 
But that's what YouTube's all about. All these people, they, you know, they just do this to help other people. Yeah, that's true. There are, there are a lot of people here on YouTube that that's why they have their channel is to help other people. But not everybody's on YouTube. Last night, for example, at night I usually walk around the block a few times after dinner. And my neighbor behind me, if you look at the video I did about concert videos, I went over there and they were having a band play in their backyard at a party and I took the band photos for them. And they've been very appreciative. Well, the other night I was walking, last night I was walking around the block and the neighbor asked me again a photography question because she said that, hey, she really wants to get into this. She's been doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And she's got a Canon, I forget the model number. And she was asking me some questions about it. I tried to answer as best I could. I, I'm a Nikon guy, not a Canon guy. And her question was Canon specific, but I tried to answer it. And I told her, you know, if you have any questions, general photography questions, hopefully I have good advice. There's probably some listening and go, no, you don't have good advice. And others might, yeah, you might have good advice. But I try to give good advice. You could do the same thing. You might have a neighbor who's into photography and, and you're really into photography. And if they ask you a question, help them out. It might help them and then somewhere down the road they're going to help somebody else. So that's why I do these monthly videos, is to try and help other people be seen and to encourage them to keep up with their photography. One last quick story and I'll get out of here. Long time ago, when I was doing junior achievement and some other things in the schools, that was just a volunteer job, it wasn't my job. But I was in a fast food restaurant having lunch by myself one day. And this family came in, mom, dad, couple kids. And I thought I recognized the young guy, but I didn't pay it much attention. And I was about ready to leave. I finished up and, and the mom and dad came over with, with the, the, the kid. He asked me my name and I told him. And he said, yep. And the, the son nodded. He thanked me for helping his son through junior achievement. And I guess they had, they'd been immigrants from another country, Central America somewhere. And the dad was saying how his son would come home from school on the days I was there and how much he enjoyed hearing about different things you could do in this country and how you could succeed and on and on. His son really took that to heart. So he wanted to thank me he shook my hand and the whole bit. And when that happened, I got far more out of that than the effort I had to put into to go to that class and do that class. It meant, I'm sure that meant far more to me than it did to that little boy, even though obviously I had made an impression on that little guy. Point to all this is, you never know who you're going to affect and when you're going to affect them. You will get far more out of it if you do these kinds of things than if you don't. The rewards will come back tenfold. It happens to me every time. So I encourage you, send in your image. Try to grow this because honestly, if it only stays three or four people, I may stop it after a few more months. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But if it continues to grow, then I'll keep doing it. So I hope you enjoyed some of the images. Until next time, hey, hit the like and subscribe button. I'd sure appreciate it. That'll help me. See, I try to give you a video. You can help me back. That's how you can help somebody in return. Hit the like and subscribe button. See ya.